With more than 50% of Americans set to celebrate Cinco de Mayo tomorrow, it's become the fifth biggest beer buying holiday in the United States, beating out both the Super Bowl and St. Patrick's Day. And while it's estimated that more than 30 million cases of beer have been sold during the week leading up to the holiday, the folks at Corona Light say very few Americans know the true heritage of Cinco de Mayo. Did you know Cinco de Mayo celebrates the Mexican victory over the French at the Battle of Puebla on May 5th? 1862. Now, while Mexicans celebrate in the state of Puebla and the surrounding Mexico City area, it's not nationally recognized. So, how are you going to celebrate this holiday? Margarita and a Corona. <laughs> Sounds pretty good to me. I love Mexican food. Mm -hmm. My biggest weakness, though, chips and salsa. <sighs> well, here's the deal. What about chips and queso? Chips and bean dip, chips and guacamole, and not the canned, bottled, or bagged stuff. We're talking fresh guacamole oh, here. Yeah. There is a fantastic recipe for a fresh guacamole dip, sure to please all of your house guests this Cinco de Mayo. So here we've got jalapenos. You can see we've got a bunch of them. There's like even little baby ones coming out here. At this little Mexican restaurant, you find fresh at every corner. The menu's inspired by authentic dishes with a Tex-Mex flair. Co-owner Lambrini grows peppers and herbs right in their restaurant's backyard garden. It's no surprise their biggest seller, guacamole, is made with a popular and heart-healthy fruit avocado. It has so many benefits. It's high in fiber, it's high in potassium, it's got a lot of the good fat. So, um, you know, we have now are finding that it's a superfood. Fresh ingredients need master hands to bring the food alive. And that's where sous chef Maria Moreno comes in, offering up family recipes and culinary techniques from Mexico. Maria says to make gourmet guac, make sure to get firm Hass avocados. They're small, dark green. So you have to cut the avocado right in the middle, like open it, stay the stick you have, with the knife, so be careful. Next, take the avocado's meat out with a spoon, then add your ingredients. One diced tomato, a fourth of an onion, two tablespoons of cilantro, one serrano or jalapeno pepper for some kick, drizzle about an ounce of olive oil, top it off with fresh squeezed lime juice. Little salt, little pepper, then mash them all together while keeping a chunky consistency. Add a lime for garnish or a chip for dipping, but Maria says don't stop there. You can use guacamole and burgers, and sandwiches, and tostadas, taquitos, and you can use avocado in everything. Guacamole, a simple, flavorful dish that's perfect for entertaining. <laughs> We actually have a Cinco de Mayo inspired recipe challenge for you today. And look who's here. Joining us now are one of your favorite country radio duos, Whiskey and Randy. Guys, thanks for being here this Thank afternoon. You. Hola. Our recipe challenge. Yeah, this is not your first time, of course, being here for one of our recipe challenges. As a matter of fact, this is your fourth one. Coming. And this moment was one of my favorite. Look at that. Look at you look guys. Look how young there. we look. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, you look weird. so young. I, I guess that was the uncooked pesto omelet day. No, that was the strawberry shortcake uh, yes. hat yes. day. My daughter yeah. still hasn't forgiven me. <laughs> I bet. You, she never you will. You made that hat look good. I gotta, <laughs> gotta tell you. So, you know the drill. You know the drill. The recipes are in the envelopes. We're going to give you the choice of which one you want today to find out what we're going to make. And we get three and a half minutes right. to, do it. to do it. We always fall for this, so go. All yep. right. Go. Uh, hey, and I, Brad and Dean left us something for Brad. Uh, oh, we're, we're underway, so let's go. So like, gonna you don't go fast we enough. are on the clock. So here we go. <laughs> we are going to make <laughs> strawberry guacamole from love and olive oil. Okay, love. we are going to two make cups, bacon yield, guacamole. Uh, two ripe, medium, large avocados. And creamy guacamole. Okay, so we need four uh, chalet. Is bacon, that a chalet? Four large uh -huh. chalet. Chalet. Cook the bacon until crispy and set aside okay. on a towel. Well. Uh, three drink. tablespoons of loose cut Fresh cilantro. Okay. Oh, I probably should put that on. strawberries. Okay. Two minutes, right? Salt to taste. <laughs> okay, so I'll we need to cut these. I'll stop. We only have one knife. Okay, so we need two large avocados. Why are you eating it? You shouldn't be eating it. We should be cutting it. Okay. Am I? Got it. And and we're I, gonna need some. How do we only have one knife? It said fresh strawberries. I had to make sure. <laughs> and, and yeah, it's fresh. And it's fresh okay, and delicious. And fresh and delicious. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh my oh, goodness. Lime juice. Got that got out. Lime. Glad that lady showed me how to do that. To, uh, Whoa, that was a knife. Get that out yep. of there. 
Uh, yeah. She had a bigger knife than us. And yeah, she's think. doing better than I am, that's for sure. <laughs> Here, look at this. Just Wait, do this. Did you get it? Oh, oh, I got half of it out. Hey, that works. Is this cilantro or? Oh, that is just cilantro. Don't cut your not the leafy part. part. Not the leafy part. Uh, I'll scoop that out if you want to try to get the seed out of mine. With the leafy part or not the leafy part? So last What's time you guys were here, you did the New York Country Music Awards. Yeah. Whiskey, you yeah. got them all right. I did. I, that's how does. I do things. And yeah. then I'll brag about it for a week. Oh, and that's, did yeah. you already? That's or more when other people bring it up again. I think these go in here too. What was I supposed to do with the bacon? I was supposed to take it out of the microwave, I think. Is that important? Yeah, I think so. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> nice and crispy, right? Now. Nice and crispy. Oh, look right, at this. Somebody already now. has okay, the balls out for me. Okay, 40. We're looking good. I'm trying to chalet. Oh, How do we cut the so chalet? Finally minced chalet? Hey, Just beat it up. That's what that was. Shall Shall okay. <laughs> we need a jalapeno pepper. Okay. You want know, you know how to cut one of those? I right. thought they beat the French. I thought we could say it right. Oh, wait, I'm cutting it right here. Cinco de Mayo. Uh, Anybody got a Corona? <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 yeah, so my back pocket. <laughs> I should mention that. <laughs> um, ripe strawberries. We only have like a minute 14 left. I just yeah, want to let know. everybody know. It's very, very good timing. <laughs> this is so much fun. Here, done. take some knives and cut things in a real big really? hurry. I don't even know. See how that turns out. What a chalet is, and here I got to mm -hmm. mince it or something. Just just cut it cut it in half and then mince. do it that way. No, 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 no. Cut it in half and then. All right. So I told him oh, it was a chalet, but he insisted on calling it a chalet. What else do I need to shop? So. Anything else? Well, Mexico had their independence from France. Well, I figured we'd say chalet properly. Well, if okay. you want to do the good. French version, okay, I guess it's okay. Oh, now. wow, those are big chunks of jalapeno there, yeah. you got, Jimmy. This one's going to be good. Oh. This is going to be good. Just saying. All right. Okay. That's I'm cutting tomato whatever. here. Is there lime seconds. Ours? Is there what? lime? How is that possible? Just put a lime in it. Look at this. is not mint. Lime juice. Oh, wait. That's not going to work. <laughs> How are you guys doing over there? <laughs> 18 seconds. Oh man, okay, let's stir, let's stir, let's stir. I got this thing. That's not gonna okay, do it. It's and rubber. some bacon that's really I'm hot. Trying to break it up. Yeah, rubber meets the roll. Nine, eight. Oh, we should make this up. Seven, six. This is five, okay, here we go. Four, five, if you're looking Three, for this two. recipe, it's very easy to find. All you have to do is send us a We're seven dress stamped envelope to 1729 North Salisbury <laughs> Boulevard in Salisbury. And it's that, of course, is in Maryland. Is it code two one? Eight oh one. Okay, we have a or taste you can tester go here. If you Look like. at this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. you're, you're on our team, right? Wait, 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 right? wait, 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 wait. What are you doing, Jimmy? You're, you gotta put it down. Put it down, Jimmy. Put it down. You're on our side. Jimmy, help! I'm gonna just stay neutral on this one. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Taste oh, it. Oh my Monday. goodness. How are we gonna take a chip I'm to that? I'm trying to help you. Out here. <laughs> I'm just saying. Make sure you get one of those jalapenos on there. You okay. go. Oh, I think this is game. I, uh, I think this we might have game we might brought our match. game today, huh? <laughs> Here's the good you news. Have to, oh, after oh eating that much jalapeno, he's not gonna taste anything else. That's so right, we will have right. to wait. Now, <laughs> no, what is it? Good, so good. good stuff. Now taste that what one. What was that? What was that? <laughs> there's, there's Here, no I'll way. hold this. You... Would you wow. like some? Ours too? at least looks like a dip. Yeah, yeah there. some sort of dip. See, see. Yes. Well, they. You okay? <laughs> Would you like some water? We killed Striker on the show today. <laughs> which one's the best? Would you like some water? I'll get you some water after you tell us which one's best. I've never seen you cry before. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with the one that didn't make me cry. <laughs> All right. I blame yes. you. All yes. right. All right. Oh, nice. <laughs> you guys want a real dip? Do we have a doctor in the house by any chance? Oh, we do. Good. That's gonna come in handy. Well, now that we've challenged ourselves, let's put something else to the test. How about the Sonic Clean? Its makers claim it can clean the unseen using its sonic vibrations at over 200 per second. But can it really? We find out next. Don't Marvel Life. We'll be right back.